we settled on this abandoned mystical cruise ship. Equipped cabin for a comfortable life. But at night, we were attacked by bats, tropical insects, and giant cockroaches. And we were warned that there are pirates here. Enough boys, let's go to the cabin. Well, guys, this is an abandoned liner. And finally, we have finally completed the apartment. I will arrange a small room tour for you. Go ahead, Anton. Good evening. Good evening. Can I get through to you? You live well, as I see you have light. Does it really work? How do you guys? This is very cool. Welcome to our cabin, in this abandoned liner, to our cabine which we have refurbished with lights. In what sense? We repaired, we cleaned very well, put everything in order and now look what a cool cozy cabin we have, guys. You can also turn on the air conditioner. Oh really? Why not? Let's turn off the light then, so that the load is not too much. We even have air conditioning. Touch it. It's weak, but it works. Here it is felt. All of our lights work. Here is the light control panel. You can control each of the lamps. Everything is working. The lamp is working. For beds, we found these cool blankets. They posted it. Now look how beautiful and cozy it is here. In the evenings we sometimes watch TV and listen to music. We also have a refrigerator, but unfortunately the inverter can't handle it. I have an idea to bring a bigger inverter here and fill the refrigerator with all sorts of goodies. But I think it's in the next series. Wow, it's so dark and uncomfortable in here, but for us this is not a problem. There is light here too. Everything works, can you imagine? Look what they brought us here. It was actually brought in 10 years ago. Come on, demonstrate. Hats are the same as on the cards. Yes. One to one. Good quality. And the cups have been standing for 10 years already. The bathroom is also very cool. Too bad there is no water. All the faucets are already rusty. Here, look where we are. 5th deck 506th apartment. So let's turn off the light. It's so dark outside, guys. In short, it's so dark outside that you can't see anything at all. Now for us the number one task is to find a videotape, because we want to run that Technics run, to check how it works. Now we will check all the decks to see if there are cassettes or not. There is no. Open each. There's nothing here. Check out the ones below. If it was, it would be on the edge. There's nothing. Check out these tags. That's all there is to it. Look, see, it used to go to C. Anton. 2002. Wow, so long ago. It was popular 20 years ago. Are there cassettes? It opens so smoothly. Cool, check the bottom one too. It doesn't open. There. Look through the glass. There is nothing. Or is there? There is. Yes. We are very lucky. Can you imagine? There is a cassette in this technique. Now there will be a disco. Guys, there will be a disco. Now we will check what is there. Technics. Holy moly. There are bats ahead, so you need to turn off the lights as much as possible. We go to the house. Now let's show how this technique works. Cool. It works. Guys, it works. Or not. See how well preserved it is. Click on rewind. It takes a long time to think. Do you hear? One of the buttons is not pressed. And the cassette won't come out. 
Looks like this is over. How to open it now? I tried, but in vain. For some reason it doesn't open. I think the rubber straps just failed. Inside, because of time. So, where is the play? It collapsed from the heat. Here is the play. It seems that it doesn't open either. Do you hear those scary sounds? Wait, I want to watch. Here it moves or not. It doesn't move either. Yes, it doesn't spin. Well guys, let's open it. Let's see what's broken. It's not lacquer easy. Wow, this is cool. Everything is as I thought. The grooves are broken. The rubber motors are not connected to anything. And here? And here. And there is. But the truth is hung. Should we go there? There is an engine room. Let's go there, Anton. Cover me somehow. I'm very scared. Let's go. Pull your cap tighter. I am real. I died at 1164. Can you imagine? You see? It says here I am real and died at 1964. For some reason, this ghost has a very human undertone. Hush! Let's go ahead. Come on, the bats are flying away. They retreat. Are you sure they won't attack us? I don't know. Hush! Now they will fly away. Toilet, the worst toilet in my life. Let's go Anton. Terrible, they fly so close. This is terrible guys. There's a dead end here. Dead end? Dead end? It cannot be so. How so? Here is the toilet. Why were there bats there? It's all in the poop. Let's go back. Is there a way out here? There are no bats. They all flew away. Is there a toilet here too? Yes. Probably the exit is there. Let's go to. And how did we get into the engine room then? We entered through the hall. There's windows don't light up there, but they're not there. This is the basement. We won't go into the engine room. It's flooded. Fully? The path to the department is flooded. There is another way out here. I guess a loss. But it's dangerous. Let's drop everything and go to the cabin. Shine here. Don't make too much noise. Quiet. Move on. Yes, the engine room is flooded. We came from here, right? Yes. Guys, this is terrible. Shine there. Holy moly. How so? How could this be allowed? Is it the tide? Maybe the rainy season has begun. Then let's go into the water. Let's go! Wait, are you kidding me? We'll put the bags on our feet and let's go. Think this is a bad idea? Certainly. The bats will eat us. And there are a lot of radioactive poop. And everything is in the water. That's horrible. Well, while there are no bats, can we answer questions here? They all flew away, you see? None. I think it flooded, because there was a hole here. Somewhere in the back there is a hole, so the water has entered. And it goes up. There was no water last time. It was only in the lowest compartment, which we couldn't get into, which had bats in it. And now the upper compartment has begun to flood. Maybe salt water slowly corrodes the metal? Maybe. In general, guys, now we want to answer your questions that you write to us in the comments. And we made a post on Instagram. The most popular question is when we will go to Pripyat again. Well guys, it's up to you. If you often ask us to come to Pripyat, then we will probably take a chance and go there in the near future.
But if you say don't take risks, shoot other videos, shoot homemade, then we will make other great content for you. You yourself understand that it is dangerous to go to prepute now. It is dangerous, but nevertheless, if you put a lot of fingers up, only a lot, then this will motivate us and we will go to look for new adventures in prepute. So guys, next question. When will you finish filming on this ship with dangerous bats? Guys, we are in the process. Already in process. A little more and we'll be gone. No one else will see us here. See if there are any more questions. There is no internet here. Well, I just read another question. What videos will you shoot next? This is a very interesting question, so I'll give you a little spoiler. It will be related to radiation. And with an analog of Prepyuk. I think this spoiler, I have revealed everything. Wait guys, we're in the process. None of the bloggers have filmed this yet. We're going to hell. In general, there will be a lot of radiation. So many. What happened to the stalker house? The one in Prepyuk? Yes. Strangely, even though we have already answered this question and even filmed the video, people still ask about it. Now we will answer once and for all. Our stalker house is destroyed. Do you hear bats? They are hungry and want to eat. And we just ate and we are full. And now they, too, will soon be full. Therefore, our stalker house is no more, it is destroyed, someone took everything out of there, tourists were taken there, they sold tickets for money. That is, we wanted to make interesting content, give people joy, and some people decided to just make money on it, on the fact that we wanted to give joy to people. This house is no more, and most likely there won't be any more. Guys, let's go to the cabin. And now we want to continue answering your questions guys. And the question is how do you get ideas for filming videos? Well, most of the time it's improvisation. We stumble upon something on the internet, some interesting object, and we begin to study it. And subsequently, the object becomes so interesting that we go and shoot content for you. In principle, ideas do come, it all happens spontaneously. I really can't even answer this question. It's just life, folks. We also listen to your advice in the comments. Sometimes we think about it, and on the basis of this, quite bright ideas are born. Yes, such small ideas are born. We hatch them like this, feed them with milk. Then they grow into large-scale projects. Yes, that is right. Here. No, there are rocks, so here. Look, there's a castle. This. There is a synthesizer here. Holy moly, it's big. But I'm afraid we can't carry it. Do you hear? You need to ask right here. Does this have speakers? Yes, it's just huge. Well, guys, we found such a huge synthesizer. Now let's try to ask this too. This is a Yamaha synthesizer. Clavinova. Yamva Clavinova. I don't understand why, but the fork was cut on this one, but we do have a spare. Usually in Germany, when forks are cut, this indicates that the tool is not working. In Germany? Yes. There is a daggerboard, which means they put equipment on the street once a year. If the plug is cut, then it is not working. Yes. So, it can't be connected to anything. Hope it doesn't get too loud. Everything is ready to launch. Just one button left to press. Shut it down quickly if it screams. Let's go. Nothing. Press the power button there. It seems to be non-working. Yes, nothing. Can you imagine? Completely damp. Yes. But this is a cool Yamaha synthesizer. Holy moly, guys, doesn't work at all. See how it's oxidized. Even the inscription is hard to read. It's quite tired. There is a control button, a power button. Here's something else, but it's very hard to read. Some kind of master volume, right? Let's see more now. Turn it off.
In short, a bummer. Not all equipment is working here. Let's go where there are a lot of TVs. We can start something, for example a fan. Let's go. It's very close, you need to come here now. In short, guys, we brought the inverter directly to the TVs. Let's turn on the small appliances, for example, this. Here it is ideal for Dandy to play. It's not a pity to tear up the kinescope. Red. Black. Okay, turn it on. And there, too, press the button. This is all? Don't scare me like that. Here the light bulb is on. Push buttons. It looks like it's not working. What about another? Wow! Look, there was something. It works. It's white noise, Anton. This shows white noise. Scary, right? Scary, Anton, honestly. White noise is not good. Let's try it with a ventilator. Oh, it's not spinning. How do we turn it on? Come on, turn it on. We need to help this. Come on. Come on, maybe the other way? Maybe turn it on? No, it's humming. It can't spin. Very tight. In which direction? The one that is easier. To another. More. Horror. No. Too late, it's oxidized. You just need to lube it. And here you could add power. What else mystical can we launch? Vacuum cleaner. Come on. This? Do you want to run it? There is a fork here. Look. Now let's arrange a real show of electricians. I stick. Can the inverter withstand it? Holy moly, I'm afraid this is going to explode. Yes, it can't stand it. Try again. The lights are blinking, look. Horror. This is very powerful. Let's get a smaller vacuum cleaner. It was almost. It looks like it's rusted. Horrible. I'm afraid to imagine what will happen if it starts. Horror. It's just a real nightmare. Machine from hell. Turn it off before it explodes. There is another small vacuum cleaner there. Four women, do you want to run it? Is there a plug for an outlet? Could it have been ripped off? Looks like it got torn off. This is not. There is another screw here. Let's try. Forward. Same problem. Buzzing, yes. Yes, stop. It lacks power at all. It's rusty. But it sucks, I hear. Let's try to wake up this monster, if there is a wire. And there is a wire. By the way, this is the Nfei you guys were asking about. Press power. That did you do? Did you see the bat that flew by? Yes. It blinked once and that's it. Try again. Doesn't work. It burned down, you know. It looks like yes. Might be worth running it? What is this? Or will it be loud? Let's try. Wow, look what a plug. By the way. We can't. It's a fork for 380. It's too cool. Okay, let's start the radio station. Or is it overkill? No. Again. This is tricky, not for 220. There was a small vacuum cleaner around here somewhere. This is a safe. Very strange. There are black TVs, look. Bed sheets. Yes, these are kits, Anton. It's packaged. We have looked for this before. Put it back. Let's test. Look, it's new. See? Factory winding. Even this is in film. Yes, it is in the film. New. Forward. 
No reaction. Maybe you didn't screw it all the way in? Probably a bad lamp. Shall we try turning on another TV? Yes, we can. Let's turn on the big one. Which one? One of those big ones. Do you hear this sound? Yes. It tries but fails. Maybe not enough power? Need a more powerful battery? Or the TV is broken? Record the sound. Wow, it started. Yes, the menu. In English. White noise appeared. I don't know what this is about guys. But all the TVs here are working. Absolutely. This is ancient, kinescope. Pay attention, TVs seem to be moisture resistant. I want to break it. Blow up? Do you hear the vacuum there? See what compressor. In these little refrigerators, everything is in place and should work. We can also try running the refrigerator. I have a suspicion that the power may not be enough. It takes a lot to get started. Red here. Minus. That's it. Turn on the monster. Open the door. There is nothing. There is a lollipop, Anton. Over there. Get it. What is this? It's something terrible. Can you get it out of there? Can you get it out of there? Do you want to try? Pasha. It stinks a lot. What is this? Try it by feel. A voodoo doll. That's horrible. What is this? It's a voodoo doll. You think? Small one? What's on that head? Tubule. Do you hear? The plastic is almost decomposed. This is a real monster. Well, let's go upstairs. It's getting too hot in here. Do you hear it? Quiet. So what? Do you hear this sound? Quiet, quiet. Is our door closed? Yes. It's behind the door. Is someone walking there? Yes. Hear it? Horror. I don't know what it is. Guys, but someone... Someone is walking around right now. I suggest we hold the door. Lock the door. Because some of the cabins are closed here and we can pretend it's closed. Quiet. I point the light down so you can't see. Hold on. Too bad it didn't close. Turn off the light. Quietly. Look in the eye. Hold the door. I keep. We were found.